Hi, and thanks for watching. I just wanted to do a quick review of my NYX Builder Pro Walnut. They're a 10 inch boot. I'm a size 10.5E. Uh, I've been looking at NYX for a while now. Um, I, I've got a standard order in, in progress at the moment, uh, but these are the cutter's choice. Uh, I, I got them to use for work. I actually didn't want a steel toe boot. I just wanted a, a Celastic toe boot, but because I'm impatient, uh, my best option was to get a steel toe boot and uh, in the cutter's choice. So that was what I did. Now, as with most people or most reviews that you read, uh, the biggest issue for everybody or the biggest concern for everybody is with these boots, particularly given their price point and also the lead time, um, is the sizing. You know, you really wanna make sure that you get your sizing right. Uh, a lot of people that would be looking at Nick's boots are probably people that have owned uh, other boots, um, you know, Red Wings or whatever they might be, uh, Thoroughgoods, um, Dana boots, all those type of brands. Um, so, you know, you like to think that you know your sizing, um, and, but there's a lot of talk and a lot of, a lot of anxiety around the sizing um, around Nick's boots and people that have different opinions on um, how how they fit and how they feel and all that sort of stuff. So um, I too had that anxiety. I was a bit stressed and that was also part of the reason why I decided to get the cutter's choice because I thought, look, if I get them, um, and I'm in Australia here, there's not a huge market for Nick's boots, but I thought, look, if I get them, at least I'll know that the um, standard order pair that I have um, will fit, if these fit. So usually for me, I'm a 10D. Uh, in red wing boots and I'm referencing the 875 mock toes uh, the 1877s or 10877s I should say uh, and also the iron rangers and they they suggest that the iron ranger last is very similar to um, the 55 last which is what these are built on um, now Nick's boots simply say to you um, you, your, Brannock, your Brannock device size, uh, minus five is the size to go to. Um, now I've spent my entire time purchasing things knowing more than uh, the manufacturers and I uh, more often than not end up disappointed. Um, so I ordered these in a 10.5E. Uh, 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 I went to a shop uh, locally to me and I got myself uh, measured on a Brannock device and I came back as an exactly 11D on both of my feet. Um, but I sometimes do feel that I get a little bit of uh, restriction in the side of my boot. So I decided to um, widen up and go for the E. Um, and I ended up ordering a 10.5, which is what you see here. I called them about uh, two weeks later and I said, look, I think I've made a bad choice. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to get uh, the 10. You know, I just really don't want them to hurt. And then the next day I called, uh, I can't remember what the lady's name was, but she was really patient. I said, look, I think I've made a, made a bad choice. I, I'm just gonna stick with the 10.5. Um, and if they're a little bit too big, I'll put some you know, bigger socks on. Um, because I do have a, pair, a few pairs of boots and Danner boots. I've got a pair of Danners uh, in 10D that are just too tight for me. I can't wear them. I thought, no, nah, I'm just going to listen to the experts and I'm just going to do exactly as they say. So I did that. Um, I got a notification that they were coming. Uh, they came. Uh, I tried them on and the fit was perfect, immediately uh, perfect. Um, the break-in for me hasn't been too much of an issue. Um, I've, I've been wearing these almost every day for just maybe two weeks. Um, two weeks every day and every other day uh, prior to that. Um, they're holding up really nicely. Uh, the breaking process for me, I've had worse. You know, if, if you have a pair of boots that actually don't fit you, um, I reckon they probably hurt more uh, than these. I just kind of took it easy, you know, like for the first day, I think I wore them for uh, maybe half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, and I was just kind of walking around my house. Um, and then the next day, I, I think I did the same. I might have worn them for a few more hours. And then, I don't know, I kind of felt like they weren't that bad. So I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna wear them. 
Um, now it's quite hot here uh, in Australia at the moment and I've got a fair bit of lawn to mow so I thought what better way to get acquainted with my boot uh, and get a bit hot and sweaty in my in my feet to try and mould the uh, mould the leather. I'll I'll walk around the, the yard mowing my lawns with uh, with these boots. And I'm not going to say it was like a total walk in the park, but it wasn't that bad. Um, I didn't take them off. I kept them on. I think I did some um, pruning and stuff afterwards, and it was fine. Um, this right boot in particular has. Uh, has been the easiest to break, which I'm not surprised. It's usually my left foot that that gives me a little bit of grief if I'm going to get grief in in any foot. Uh, so the right foot has probably been the best one uh, to go. Um, I did actually give the kilties uh, a haircut. Uh, I think Grant from um, Nick's Boots suggests doing that. If you're not a big fan, you can just cut them. I was going to order some more, but I cut them. I didn't do a very good job, but you don't even notice it anymore, really. Um, one's longer than the other, but you don't really notice it. Um, now with the left boot, caused caused me a little bit of grief, mainly in my big toe area, um, in terms of rubbing, and that's because I've got something on my toe that sort of does that. Um, but this one was perfect, um, and I knew that once my feet start to settle in the in the toe box, that I wouldn't have too much of an issue anymore. Um, and by that, when I, I mean you sort of start off like with your foot really constricted in the toe box and then as that leather starts to soften your, your, feet, your, feet, uh, your feet will start to widen up and they'll press down a little bit as well so you're kind of going a little bit down which I found has taken some of that pressure um, off the off the feeling or the pain inside the, the toe box. Uh, I was a little bit hesitant about the 10 inch size but I really like the 10 inch size there's a lot of guys that you know sort of wish that they could just get a uh, an 8 inch um, an 8 inch which you can but it, again it's a standard order you're gonna be waiting maybe six months which is uh, yeah if you're anything like me it's it's, it's unbearable uh, to wait that long so the 10 inch was was what I got and to be quite honest I'm really happy um, I really like the 10 inch it fits over the top of uh, my jeans I don't wear a slim slim jean but I wear a you know fairly fitted uh, pant and it fits over once you've got it all done up nicely um, the build quality is exceptional. Uh, you know, a lot of guys go on about how you know comfortable these boots are, and once you break them in, and um, the build quality is just exceptional. Um, and I tend to agree 100%. The build quality on these boots is remarkable. Um, one thing about these boots that you will find um, is that they are incredibly heavy. Um, when you're comparing, like. It's a, it's a heavy boot. Um, so if you're comparing them to something that you typically wear, um, they're gonna be a heavy boot. Um, so it was a little bit of, uh, it took a little while to get used to that, but I kind of feel like I am used to it now. Um, I wasn't sure about the, the big lugs, um, but so far so good. I just gave these a quick brush just before because I was mowing the lawns again this morning. Um, so there's grass and stuff all over them. Um, and the lugs are fine, they're really good. Um, and now my boots are really starting to, to get to that point. And it's only probably been three solid weeks, I would say, of wearing these boots. And they're already at the point where I don't, I don't need to take them off. I didn't really need to take them off uh, shortly after I bought them. You know, so I guess it just depends on what you do um, and how quickly you're gonna do it, I suppose. Um, the benefit for me is that at the moment it's hot, um, so you perspire a bit, which sort of softens up that leather quite quickly. Um, and, and the breaking process for me was really quick. And again, look, having a pair of boots that doesn't fit you, um, you know, is, is probably gonna cause you more pain uh, and grief. Um, so look, I just quickly, again, just with the sizing, stick with what they say. Um, if you're concerned about it, or you've got a little bit of discomfort, or you're unsure, do what I did. Go, uh, go one size wider. I mean, it's not as if you've got uh, only a couple of sizes to choose from. You can go uh, an E uh, from a D width. It's just one small little increment and I've found that it helped me a lot. But go to a shop, get sized up to a Brannock device. Some shops even have an electronic Brannock device where you can stand on and walk and they'll tell you exactly what your size is. Get that, take away half, you know, so for example, for me, I went in, it was 11D um, I, on both feet and then I just went online, I ordered a 10.5E 
just to open up that tow box a little bit for myself um, and it was absolutely perfect um, and just give them time um, just give them time but I think honestly when you get them you'll try them on um, and you'll really see uh, that, that they just fit beautifully um, if you get your right size it's a good start I hope you've liked watching um, I had four colors to potentially choose from with the, or that they were going to choose from uh, for me with the cutter's choice so there was black there was chocolate uh, there was walnut which I got I got walnut which I'm really happy with um, what else was there and there was the 1964 brown now I really wanted the 1964 brown but I ended up getting the walnut and to be honest I'm glad that I got the walnut because for me um, it goes with everything. I wear these to work. I'm in construction, but I do not do construction, if that makes sense. So I need steel toe boots. I do work, walk on rough terrain, but these kind of, for me, they look aesthetically pleasing. Uh, they don't look too uh, in your face, booty, which I really like. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.